Tim, what did you say? <laughs> <laughs> Repeat yourself. Did we have sexual contact? Yeah, I was just wondering, like, if they just went, no, like, No, we never have had sex. Never We've never sex. been intimate, no. That's the question. Shakina, Dan. Oh, Sopper, by the way, is watching them. Hello, guys, and welcome to this new video. Hope all of you are doing great. In today's video, I'm reacting to the Till All episode on Sopper and Shakina. So, stay tuned, and let's jump in. One person who did want to participate and show support is her friend and her ex, Dan. Oh, no. Who expressed his feelings He's about her ex. just before she left for Turkey. Please welcome Dan. All right, let's welcome Dan. Dan is an ex or someone who had dated Shekina before. We're going to discover that. He's here maybe to support her and to give her some advice. Let's see. Hi, Dan. How are you doing, guys? Shekina, did you and Dan date? Yeah, we did. Dan, you're not, like, we weren't in a relationship. No, that, no. I, that's what I'm saying. We went on dates. Yeah, that didn't make, that doesn't okay. make you my ex. Yeah, of course. It doesn't make uh, Dan her ex as soon as they just dated before. And I believe that it's obvious that Dan was to the point and he said that we've been dating only. And why Shekina, she was just, you know, she was provoked by his presence and by the way he said we were dated like we've dated each other before i'm not sure how many times they did and if ever something went there between them let's discover and see how many days did you guys go on like three or four did you okay tim what did you say <laughs> Repeat yourself. Did we have sexual contact? Yeah, I was just wondering, like, if they just went, no, like, No, we out. never have had sex. Never We've had never sex. been intimate, no. That's the question. Shekina, Dan. Oh, Sopper, by the way, is watching them. It's it's live, by the way. And I'm not sure about his reactions towards the thing. I'm not sure if they've ever really had sex or... I don't know, like... But it seems like Shekina is really provoked. And it might be the case. They might have had sex together but she didn't want to unveil that and she is never willing to do so. I, I, it's not 100% true, but that's okay. What? Excuse me? I said it's not 100% true, It but is actually 100% true. Okay. Embarrassing moment, not 100% true, but there is something there. Shekina is just rejecting that and proving or like admitting that it's not the case at all. While then, maybe, you know, he just avoided to tell the truth. As soon as they're not together, and as soon as she is having a life with Sarper. Dan, do you think you're a better match for Shekinah than Sarper? I do. Shots fired, huh? Dan is like, yeah. you know, a great person to... Oh my he says, God. Give, Dan give Dan the, the man, man a, chance. a chance. Hey, give Dan the man a <laughs> chance. Hey. Wow. Dan is thinking himself is a better match for her instead of Sarper. Guys, what do you think about this? Is Dan really a good match for her than Sarper? I cannot tell, but I believe that Sarper is being way more too controlling and I'm not sure if he's there for the right reason, which is to get married to the person and have a life with. I don't know actually, as soon as we've really watched a lot and seen a lot of red flags coming from Sarper, while Shekina was just under his control and obeying all of his demands and I'm not sure. Let's keep watching and see. I gave Dan the man a chance. Sarper, how do you feel about Dan being here today? Uneasy. I feel something in my stomach. I mean, I don't know. I, I can't describe. <laughs> really? Does it feel in your stomach, Sapper? Oh, it comes. Do your feelings come from there? Out from there? I believe, like, I'm not sure if his reaction is real and so true. But he seems to be, you know, trying to be emotional and show that he's jealous, maybe, or he cares, or he's more like showing that manly side of not really accepting that Dan is here and but I'm not sure. Sarper, 
what is it guys let us know what you think about Sarpa's reaction towards the the presence of Dan on the Till All episode Dan you've heard a few people say that Sarper is very controlling do you feel that he's controlling in this relationship with Shekinah yeah he's controlling your way like he's putting you on the scale all right, here we are again. Dan is admitting that Sarper is too controlling and like putting weight on Shikana. But Shikana's reaction doesn't seem to approve the talk of Sarper. I believe like she she seems like to be happy with what's going on between her and Sarper. And wow, let's walk. For me, I like you as you are. I don't think you need to lose more weight. You're a beautiful girl. You have a sweet soul, and I think Sarpers should see that. Oh, he's selling her all of this. Nice compliments. And like if Sarper, if Sarper had never the chance to describe that to her before, or never had the chance to tell her that she's sweet, she has a good soul, and she's a good person, and she is, and she is, blah, blah, blah. Well, then what are you trying to do? Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> wow. I see everything, brother. I know her better than you, believe me. Yeah, but Sarpa, you're talking to her like you're, you're a coach. She's not one of your clients, she's your girlfriend. Wow. <laughs> she's not one of your clients, but she's one of your... You know, she's your girlfriend, she's your partner. Don't talk to her in a way that she's like one of your clients, Sarper. Is really Sarper doing that to her? Is really Sarper being too bossy over her or just being like a coach for her and giving her like advices, orders or things about her life instead of just complimenting her and being like a boyfriend to her? Well, maybe, or maybe not. I don't know, it feels like when you were younger, you were like collecting Barbies in your closet. You know, you want to make sure like those Barbies you had in your closet. <laughs> she is my Barbie and I am her Ken. Everybody's speechless and nice answer from Sarper. She's the Barbie and I'm Ken. And yes, I noticed that Dan is just trying to put the truth on table and show or unveil the real deal behind Sarper's behavior with Shekina and again here he's just proving or telling him again do you feel like she's your Barbie like I feel like you had Barbies in your life and like you put them and you pick one and you're just behaving in a way that's you're too controlling way way too controlling you're not really behaving as a natural loving person you're not really trying to be as one because you have those attitudes like if you're out like owning a barbie in your room or yes man i don't think it's the case but we believe that sarper is really showing some you know those attitudes of being way too controlling right so in seed we can tell that this dynamic between the couple, between Shekina and, and of course, Sarper, she enjoys that. She's, she's happy with that. She's happy that he's just way too controlling. She feels more safe with him. She feels more, she feels him that he cares a lot about her. It might be the case. And she might be leaving a happy relationship with him this way. Let's not take it to the toxic level and consider it as a toxic relationship. This is our relationship dynamics. She loves to serve. Yeah, it makes me happy to serve him. I mean, we are in some way weirdos. Hmm, right. So that's the case for her. The question here is Shekina really showing her true colors? Is she really happy with that? Is she really honest telling on public TV that she loves to serve? 
she loves that kind of attitudes and behavior from Sopper. Um, well, everybody seems to be shocked and like, what the heck is just happening here? Guys, come on. Does anyone want to be a slave or to serve his partner? Yes, it happens that the female is somehow more, you know, in position of serving and of course the male, but I understand that it shouldn't be like, like, like those extreme sides, like when we see a man who is way, way too controlling and too you know, pushy and pushing things to happen just on his favor, serving his favor. That's not good, of course. But we respect that a female listen to her man, do what he likes as soon as she likes it as well and she's not pushing herself to hurt herself just in order to please him. That's it. I have a question. How would you feel if your daughter ended up in a relationship exactly like this one? I consider this a healthy relationship, so I would be happy. For her to be controlled like that? I don't feel like I'm being controlled. It's just what we see, maybe. Like, she's being controlled. Like, she's being chained. She seems to be happy with what's going on between her and Sarper. She loves it. Like, why would, why would we bother ourselves and consider it as something of not normal or... She, she might be one of the type who loves that kind of things and it's not really weird but as soon as things don't go over limits that's what I always point to and that's it not sure guys if you think the same or just share your opinion in the comment section and let's continue watching I think it's a dynamic that they both like so how is it toxic the passion, the love between us, you can't imagine, I mean. Yes, yes, why people are so looking like their reactions are too weird, but wow. I mean, it might be the case. They love each other, they are for each other, they, they are happy that way, she loves serving him in a way. And that's a good thing if a female is serving her man. But I'm not sure what's true, what's not, really. I cannot judge. Shekaina, I want to say something. I think you're just blinded by like physical beauty and attraction. And I'm telling you that because I, I love you and you're my friend and I don't want you to be hurt. Oh my God. Uh, it's just Dan being too caring and just wanting her to wake up from what she is in right now. Like to stop serving Sarper, to stop obeying his, maybe not orders, but I'm not sure, but I don't know. As soon as the other side is telling you I'm happy this way, why you're pushing and like trying to make us believe that this is wrong? Why? I mean, they might be in love with each other, they might be happy this way. It's their own business that they should mind. I, I don't think that that's the case in this situation, Dan. All right. But actually, Shekinah seems to be provoked. A bit not too comfortable. And it might be... It might be love. Blinding her eyes and letting her follow Sarpers. You know? Demands and you know serving him the way he wants whenever he wants however he want it so Guys as I told you let us know in the comment section about your opinions And please make sure to subscribe to the channel hit the ring bell for more content like this And also like 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 the video share it with your friends and see you in another video